welcome back to my channel it is your girl kiana and we are back with another video today i'm going to be showing you guys how i get this bronzy glowy summer makeup look and we are going to be talking about how waiting <laughs> can be hard so if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look or if you guys just want to listen in on the topic, you know, whatever the reason is, then keep on watching. All right, since we are going for this bronzy makeup look, I'm going to keep the look kind of simple. I'm going to take my Benefits Hula Caramel Bronzer and just to keep the tones kind of similar and still simple, I'm just going to take this in my crease so y'all i have talked about faith i've talked about being in the waiting season for a while but i've kind of broken it down into different things but i never really talked about how it feels to just be waiting and i'm going to be giving you guys just like more so like my experience with waiting because it's not easy Especially when you've been waiting for a while. I don't know about you guys, but I've been waiting for some things to come to pass for, I want to say a good, I want to say a good like five to 10 years, depending on what we're talking about. So it's not like I've been sitting here waiting for a short period of time. So jumping back to makeup really quick, I did prep with sunscreen and I moisturized my face, everything else. So because we're doing a bronzy look, I'm going to take this Say Beauty um, Sun Glow Drops. This is in, oh, well, it's in Sun Glow. <laughs> this is a little super gel. So I'm just going to take that with my fingers. And this is just going to warm up my look, but also add some shimmer to it. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's definitely warmed up my face. And then I'm going in with my Makeup Forever foundation. I love this stuff because it really looks like skin. This is in 2Y32. So I want to just say more particularly in this video what has helped me in my waiting season. And I want to start with self. I think sometimes we have to look at ourselves to see where we are in our walk. And I know that could be hard because sometimes we think, okay, like for me, for example, I thought for a while or for the longest, like there's nothing that I need to work on or I've worked hard enough on myself. Like what can I possibly need to do in order to become a wife, for example, or what do I need to do to become a leader? Um, because God has called me to lead in the sphere that he's called me to lead. Like what else? Could I possibly need to do? And I think sometimes we have to be completely honest with ourselves and see where we really are or are not in our walk as we're waiting. Um, for me, I had to definitely grow and mature as a leader because there's things that I was doing that at the time I didn't think were a big deal, but as I actually grew and matured in my walk with Christ, like I realized like, okay, like I definitely need to tighten up if I'm gonna be leading anybody as God has called me to lead. And even as a wife, it's like, and a mother one day, it's like, I need to work on my patience. I need to work on these different things because that's going to help me become, you know, the person that I'm praying to be as I'm sitting here waiting. Because like, if you're going to sit and wait, at least like, you know, prepare, do something, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, tip number one is while you're waiting, at least while I was waiting, what I learned is to work on myself, to see where I was at, and to continue to prepare myself for that person that I wanted to become in those lanes and aspects of my life that I wanted to walk into or that I've been wanting to walk into. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Liz Contour Stick. This is in the shade Harmony. It's like this pretty brown. And I'm just gonna put that on my hand first and then apply it to my face. Next, I had to trust God's timing and trust God's plan for my life. I think a lot of the times we hear, you know, God's timing is perfect and 
you know, it's kind of hard to walk into that. It's kind of hard to truly wait on God. And, you know, I see people around me, younger than me, different stages of life. And that's going to be another point I'm going to hit, but at a later point. But it's like, I've, I've been like, okay, God, why have these people not had a weight? Like, I've had a weight. Why this? Why that? And ultimately, the more that I grew in my relationship with God, I realized that his time is perfect. And I shouldn't question his timing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I should just know that he's good. And I should know that it's going to happen when it's going to happen. Um... And yeah, there's just not too much more to that. It just built my patience. Like I had to learn to be more patient and to wait on God and to know that I don't know better than him. And so if he's making me wait, it may not even be just because of me per se. It could be for the people around me or whatever the case is. Like not everything has to do with us, but I just had to learn to trust in him and knowing that his timing is perfect for me and that he doesn't have plans to you know, harm me. You know, scripture says he has plans to prosper us, not to harm us. And so I had to really lean into that. So I would say that is point number two. Trusting God's timing is something I had to work on in my patience. Because it's not that it's not coming. It's we have to be patient to see it come to pass. And I had to think of some of the people that I've read about in scripture, like Abraham. He waited so long for him to bear you know a child with Sarah but it came to pass and even Moses when he was leading the Israelites he waited to get to the promised land and you know someone explained the story he got to see the promised land but he didn't necessarily walk into it but he had to wait and like sometimes things are just going to take time and it's just as simple as that and it doesn't mean it's not happening all right, since I'm not going in with blush, because this is going to be more of a bronzy look, I'm going to go in with my concealer next. So I'm taking the Too Faced Concealer Warm Beige, and then I'm taking the Scentsy Concealer underneath the eye. This one is in 230W. Next, <laughs> since I touched on it a little bit in the last point, next I'll talk about comparison. Comparison is truly the thief of joy, you guys. Like, looking at what other people got going on and then comparing your life to theirs and what you don't have to what they have and etc. It's like, that is seriously going to steal your joy. And you don't know what people had to go through to get to where they're going or to get what they, they currently have in their life. You just don't know everybody's individual walk. You don't know their timeline. I love that I think it was Pastor Jerry Flowers. He had an example of like two different clocks and one guy, his clock was set earlier than the others. And then he was like, now he may have walked into these things sooner because he may be called to go home sooner. And the guy tried to like kind of give up his clock. It was kind of funny to me, but that may not be the reason why things happen to them sooner in their lives. It's just the example was really good that you don't know why people have walked into the things that they walked into sooner than you have. It may be for other reasons that, you know, we don't know, but enjoy your journey, enjoy your life. Don't compare yourself to what other people have going on. Like it is truly gonna steal your joy and you're just gonna be moping around about what's going on in your life when you could be joyful about what's going on in your life. All right, we're gonna take a set break because warm outside so I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray just to set the wet products because we want our makeup to stay we're just gonna fan that <laughs> so yes comparison is just it's a no-go in your waiting season don't compare your life enjoy the now enjoy the present moment um, and I promise you'll start to look at your weight a little bit differently once you enjoy where you are in your walk. And you'll also be able to focus on point number one, which is preparing where, as you are and where you are in your weight. So next I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom setting powder, just to set those places 
like my eyes and things of that sort. So I would say my next tip would be gratitude. You have to be thankful for where you are in your life because one thing that I realized, like, especially as I look back and look at my life, is like, I'm so blessed. <laughs> and I think sometimes we forget how blessed we truly are now while we're waiting on the next thing. And sometimes you're continuously waiting on the next thing that you're just never gonna be satisfied. And I think you don't have to be complacent, but you can be appreciative of where you are in life. Like for example, I'm super grateful because I may not be where I quote unquote want to be yet. Like I, I'm not one of those people that like to settle in life. Like I want to reach all the heights. I want to do all the things God has called me to. I want to be that wife. I want to be that mom. I want to be the leader he's called me to be. But at the same time, it's like, I look at my life right now and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have the most amazing friends. I have the most amazing family. Um, you know, I wake up every day healthy. I have food to eat. I have a place to sleep. I'm just so blessed. I have a car, I have a job. You know, I'm able to afford nice things for myself and do things. You know, I have, you know, I have things coming up that I'm just super appreciative that I'm able to do. And it's just like, without God, that wouldn't be possible without him moving in my life. And it's like, I'm truly appreciative for where I am now that I just know that there's more coming, but I'm not like necessarily like depending on the more to make my life better, if that makes sense. It's like, I, I just know that God has called me and... Yeah, it's just like, I don't have to wait for the more to be happy. Like, I'm happy now. So gratitude would be my next point because you just really got to be appreciative. Like, life is short. Some people don't have the luxury of those things. And I feel like, yes, monetary things are cool. But like, true luxury to me is having time to do X, Y, and Z. Having the luxury of health. Having the luxury of doing the things that I love. Like those things are also luxuries and we have to realize that and remember that. So I dusted off my powder y'all. So I'm just gonna go back in with my bronzer just to bring back some color, but also to bring in that bronzy look that we're going for. Um, my next point would be to steward where you are now. Like one thing that I've been working on in particular is stewarding my money um, because I know that God wants to bring me increase in that area to bless and help other people. Like that's one of my goals in life as well. It's like, I want to be able to help others. And so it's like stewarding what I have now and stewarding it well, not even just finances, but even like with this platform that I have, I may not have like thousands and thousands of people watching every video, but I do have people that watch and I can steward I would say my friendship with you guys now because that matters. And if I can't steward what I have now, how is God going to expect me to take him more? And even like as a wife in preparation, <laughs> um, I have family. And like one thing that I do at my house is help out with my little brother a lot. My brother is 12. So I do a lot of cooking. I do a lot of helping with him. Um, cause you know, everybody in the house works. So wherever I can help out, I do. And it's helped me learn how to increase in my cooking skills, increase in my patience, because you know, kids can be a little <laughs> rough for lack of better words, especially around that age. And you know, it's just helped me overall continue to become the wife that I want to be and the one day mom that I want to be. Two bronzes took up a little bit more. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I'm taking the bronze color just to add a little bit more bronze and glow to the skin because this is like a sun, sunny, glowy type of look like we want to look sun kissed. And so, yeah, that's what I'm going for. So I'm just gonna take that 
But yeah, stewardship is such an important thing that I think a lot of people think that, okay, they can wait and do nothing. And that is something that I don't recommend because like one day, the day will come to pass where God will say, hey, you know, it's like the people that had, um, what was it? You know that story in the Bible where he gave each person the same amount, like the the person in the garden. Do y'all know what story I'm talking about? <laughs> and like some people came back and they, one person came back, had nothing. One person came back, double what they had. And one person came back and I don't know, they had a little bit more than what they had before. I can't remember the exact story, but essentially God's going to look at what you've done with what he's giving you. And it's like, what are you doing with what he's giving you? Are you doing something with that? Or are you just sitting and waiting around? And I think that can go hand in hand with being prepared. But it's also like, you got to steward the things that he's giving you now. Because how is he going to trust you with more if you can't do anything with what he's giving you? I'm going to go in with highlight. And I'm going to go in with my Becca highlight. This is like an oldie. But Giddy, I don't know if people remember this one. Um, everyone used to use, I think the champagne pop, but this one is in Fresco pop. And this is like my like sun-kissed type of highlighter. So I'm just gonna go in and highlight here. Um, my nose and all the places just to give me that glow. And it's just as like a little bit more warmth to the face. You see, we're doing something. This is pretty, I love it. I'm gonna set with my setting spray that I set with earlier again. This is just gonna bring life back to the skin. I'm also gonna take my one size on till dawn. <laughs> I don't know why I said that's so weird. Setting spray. Um, this is, again, I'm gonna keep the makeup in place because it is hot outside, so just in case. I sweat a little bit, this gonna keep it where it need to be. I feel like those two in combination just chef kiss looks so good. I know I said no blush, but I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this Rare Beauty blush and love. It is like a reddish color, so it does have like some warmth to it. And I'm just gonna take a little bit. <laughs> a little bit goes a long way as you can see, but I'm gonna blend that. All right, so I just want to show you guys what that did. It still kept me bronzy, still kept me glowy, but it just added a little bit of warmth to the face so that I didn't look so washed out. I want to do my eyes really quickly off camera. Y'all, I don't know if you could tell. I thought you can tell, but I had a lash malfunction. Like, I don't know what's up with the lashes. Lashes are not on my side today, but it's all good. Like, we look decent enough. You don't gotta be all up in my face. Like if you are, you a little too close. So I'm gonna move on to lips, but before I do, I took um, the Lily Lashes. Y'all's probably makeup all over my hand, but this is in blushing. And then I took my Maybelline Fly High. Is that what's called? My Maybelline Sky High Mascara um, for my eyes. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup by Mario Lip Pencil, and this is in Milk Chocolate. I'm gonna overline my lip a little bit. I don't know, I just like how it makes my lips look, and I just, I like this look personally, so. So this is what the lips are looking like. For a little bit of color, I'm gonna add in my NARS lip gloss. This one is in Turkish Delight. And I just wanna add in like a nude to the lip. But I don't want it to be super pink, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to add too much. And then I'm going to take my Merit lip oil. 
This is in Lizzo, I think. I don't know. I don't know the shade, but it's like the pink one. It's gonna take a little bit to bring a little bit of warmth back to my lip. So they're not too, too dull if I would say. But this is the look, y'all. This is what she's giving. Even though my lashes messed up, I feel like it still came out cute. It's bronzy, it's summer, it's glowy. It's giving what it's supposed to give. Um, before I end this video, I just want to encourage you guys, anyone that may have watched this video just for the message solely, I want to encourage you that you are not alone in the wait. I'm waiting. I'm sure there's many more people like us that's still out there waiting. And just know that you're not doing it alone. There are other people that can relate to you. There are other people going through this journey. And if we continue to wait, if we continue to persevere, if we continue to go forward, we will see God's promises come through in our life. But just continue to wait, continue to steward that thing, continue to be um, in preparation and growing and maturing in your walk. Continue to trust God and know that he's going to move. And I promise y'all, I promise you, you're going to wait differently. And just continue to be in gratitude as well, you know. I'm just going over the points I just um, <laughs> put in the video. But this has truly helped me in my walk. And I feel like this will truly help some other people that may be in their waiting season. I really hope it does. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video. As always, I love you guys.